I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So, I don't intend to replace 9-volt batteries when they die. So I got these wiring harnesses with connectors for 9-volt batteries. I have these actual wire connectors with heat shrink already on them. And I have an old power transformer. This is for a phone. And you can see that it is a 9-volt output. So, if you're gonna do something that's nine volts, you gotta make sure the transformer is a nine volt output as well. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna splice these all together so that we have basically a nine volt battery power source, except it's gonna run on an outlet. So I never have to replace those nine volt batteries. All right, so this part will be pretty straightforward. I mean, basically we're just gonna cut this end off. Yeah, we'll leave a little bit of cord. We don't know if uh, we might use that for something. So, well, and then from there, it's really just a matter of wiring this together, which is what I'm going to do with these guys. And so, this is what you get. Now, I did heat shrink this, but due to the size of the wires. I'm actually going to run some electrical tape over it also uh, just to make it a little bit more secure but then that'll be it and we should have 9 volt power from an outlet. So now we have our device. This is our power outlet to 9 volt converter. So all we got to do is find all these little devices that we pick up wondering the waste that run off of 9 volt batteries which we can't find. They don't exist and when we do find them they're all corroded and destroyed uh, from years of sitting on a shelf, but we have our generators, they're working, our solar adapters, they're working, maybe our war rig has a power inverter in it, I don't know. But we can take this little device that we made, we can plug it on into our small little items that we have, plug it into the power, and give it a test. Well, it works. Now, I have a radio, and it can run off of power. I don't have to worry about ever, ever finding a battery for it because I have this sweet power converter that I made. Now, I would not suggest making something like this and leaving it plugged in overnight at your house because, you know, things might not be as legit as they seem on this video. And uh, unless you enjoy dying in a fire, I would probably not recommend making this and leaving it unsupervised. However, if you're in a post-apocalyptic scenario and you need to get this into that, well, guess what? That's all you got to do to make it work. If you like this video, please click like please subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell icon, it'll tell you when I make the videos. A lot of stuff I do is LARP related, but some of the stuff just occasionally might be worthwhile in real life. So, disclaimer, you can make this if you want to. If you're gonna use it, don't let it out of your sight because although I feel this is pretty safe, you never know. So, this is for informational and educational purposes only. Don't try this at home. And uh, of course, until next time, adventure on.